Hello ladies and gentlemen and I hope I am catching you at a good time on this early Saturday uh, evening for uh, this hopefully well-natured and relaxing episode of Ted's Brew Cellar. Now, I, uh, considering that today feels like a generally chilled out day, I thought I'd go for a drink that I went for that hopefully has a chilled out vibe to it. Um, I've gone in this case for uh, Longboard Island Lager by Kona Brewing Company. Kona being spelt K O N A. And um, I don't know, I just feel like the summer Hawaiian you know, surfing vibe on the can kind of gives off a good, chilled out, relaxed vibe. So, you know, I'm kind of hoping this will be like sort of a. You know, Western lager kind of crossed with like an American sort of like continental lager as well. So, I mean, you know, mixed with some like chilled out Caribbean and you know Pacific Ocean island chilled out vibes. Like that's that's kind of the impression I get anyway from this can. Um, it's an interesting design. I um, it's a bit. You know, the colours all mix together quite nicely. So I'll I'll give it an eight. I think I'll give the design of the can an 8 out of 10. Um, it is 4.6% alcohol volume. Um, so it's about averagey strength for a lot of lagers. And um, yeah, it's got like an interesting map of the main uh, Hawaiian islands as well as the archipelago around it. So got a good bit of geography lesson there on the back of the can as well. And... Um, Let's see, where are they based out of? Oh, they're based out of Portsmouth in America. So, not the Portsmouth in the UK. But, uh, yeah, I, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping this will be good. You know, the can gives off a good chilled out, relaxed vibe. I think, um, from what I remember as well, I think... How much was this one? I think this was like 279 or 289 from the Wine Barrel Liquor Store uh, on Western Road in Brighton & Hove. So, um... Yeah, I mean, if 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 this review does convince you, that's where I uh, that's where I got it from, and that was the price. So let's give it a sniff and hopefully give ourselves a good first impression. Good, clear, crisp, lagery smell with sort of like a rich, hearty, summery sort of like impression to it. So yeah, nine out of ten for the smell. It smells really nice and relaxing. So bottoms up. pretty accurate description to be honest yeah hmm. it's first thing to note is it's very smooth there's a good bit of lagery sort of fizz to it but um it's very palatable it it, it goes down very smoothly Flavor's not too harsh. Uh, the t the, um, the liquid texture, both at the start and all the way to the finish, is very smooth. So yeah, this goes down really easily. Um, the flavor is just like a standard lager flavor, with sort of slight, sort of summery kind of peachy fruity tint. So again, really nicely relaxing. Kind of gives off a good vibe from the can and the smell and. That is similarly reflected in the taste. This is kind of one of those drinks you would just sit on a beach with while reading a book and watching the sun go down, uh, ice cold. You know, it's um, yeah, it's very relaxing and uh, definitely takes the edge off all the craziness at the moment. So yeah, oh yeah, I would recommend this. I'd give it. I'd give it an 8.25, I think. I think it just about missed out on being an, an elite level lager, but it's damn close, and it's a very nice drink, and I would not only recommend it, but I'd also go out of my way to buy it for myself again in the future. So, yeah. Longboard Island Lager by Kona Brewing Company. Well recommended, definitely a buy, and I'd recommend for pretty much every circumstance, except for maybe being a sesh drink. I don't know if it could be suitable for that, because it does feel like one of those things you need to appreciate a bit. But take that as you will, and uh, try this out if you guys are interested, because it's good. It's like, 
It's kind of like um, just a more fruity, summery version of a standard American lager, and it is really nice. So yeah, would really recommend it. But as always, if you guys did like this video, leave a like, share, and subscribe. And if you're interested in any of my other online activities, uh, I'll leave the links to my social medias and other YouTube channels in the video description below. And Again, like always, if you have any suggestions for future episodes of Ted's Booze Cellar, leave them in the comment section below and I'll see what I can do. So, I hope you have been suitably relaxed and chilled out by this episode, and until next time, have fun, stay safe with whatever you're doing, don't do anything I wouldn't do, wash your damn hands, stay safe, take care of your family, drink responsibly, know your limits, and I'll see you guys at the bar next time on Ted's Booze Cellar. Bye-bye for now.